Hi, I'm Jim Milkey, Professor and Chair of the Department of Fire Protection Engineering at the University of Maryland. I want to talk to you about our online graduate program in fire protection engineering. First question is, why study fire protection engineering at all? Well, fire protection engineering is a relatively small but dynamic and growing field. There's excellent job placement with multiple job offers typically for every one of our graduates. Why should you study fire protection engineering at the graduate level? Well, first of all, for those of you that have just gotten involved in the field, it provides an opportunity to get a background in fire protection engineering. Secondly, it will allow you to get enhanced technical skills in fire protection engineering that should help you for long-term career growth. The online program was started a little over 10 years ago. It provides advanced study in fire protection engineering with an emphasis on applied aspects. The program itself is offered through an online asynchronous approach that provides flexibility for the working professionals that makes up our student base. For you, you're able to, to merge in your professional schedules and personal schedules and all that and study essentially any time of the day, any day of the week. The courses are taught by a team of full-time faculty. It also teaches our, teach our classes on campus. And also, we engage an internationally known set of adjunct faculty to teach our classes. The courses involve an array of fire protection engineering topics over the 10 courses that we offer. It includes discussions in, in fire forensics. Uh, it, it'll explore why building outcomes or fire outcomes occur the way they do, uh, how fires start, how they grow, those sorts of things. There's courses in fire modeling, a course in fire behavior, suppression. Uh, we'll get exposure to various software programs that are used in the field, including one for smoke control systems. There's a, an advanced life safety class that'll take a look at, at uh, evacuation models that are used in the field, such as this very simple setup for a two-room building, and uh, you can see the people evacuating through the model called Pathfinder. The courses are delivered in, in several ways. They're, they're recorded materials for each of the classes. Uh, there are readings that are developed uh, by the, the instructor in a PDF set of, in a set of PDF files. Uh, that's true for all the classes, and these serve as the textbook in some courses. Uh, there are also textbooks that are used in some of the courses as well. Uh, there are chat rooms or discussion sessions in each of the classes that are held once or twice a week, depending upon the course and depending upon the student needs. There's absolutely no requirement to come to campus at any time for any of the classes, and in fact, we see some of our students for the first time on commencement day, as shown here. There are several options for you to consider in, in uh, coming to us in our online program. Uh, there's a Master of Engineering degree that's available for those that are interested in completing 10 classes. Uh, many of the students in doing that will complete the 10 classes in the major, uh, though it's possible to take other engineering classes to supplement the fire protection engineering courses that you take. There's a graduate certificate that's available too for those that are not quite interested in making the full commitment for the 10 course requirement. Uh, there are four courses that are required for a graduate certificate. And finally, uh, there's an option available to be a non-degree seeking student so that uh, for those students that have just a particular topic of interest that they want to learn something about, that, that's a possibility too, to enroll in one or two courses in our program, uh, get those courses, and then move on from there. Admissions requirements are the same for any of those options. Uh, the preference is that, that you have a degree in engineering with a grade point average of 3.0 or better. So we have flexibility in that, both in terms of what the undergraduate degree is in and also in terms of GPA. For sure, before you get started with our program for success, you'll need to have differential equations, fluid mechanics, and heat transfer in your background. For students from non-English non speaking countries, you'll need to have an English proficiency a test result from either the TOEFL exam or the IELTS exam. There are three letters of recommendation. There's no GRE required for admission. Here's my contact information. Uh, feel free to contact me should you have any questions at all about anything that I've said. There's also a website that's available shown here that where you can get a lot more information about the topics I talked about and get into the details. There's also a link for the application that's available through that website. Thank you very much.